Look at this baby yeah. look alright. Yeah. Yeah. The, the decadent treat is I need to have some kind of something on my plate. Like, oh, it started off normal. And it got all desperate to begging. I'm not sure what that was. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back to This Girl's Insights. On this channel, you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you, yo. And y'all, today we are back with a food shopping haul. It's a bit of an impromptu video. And let me just say, y'all, for those of y'all who saw my last food shopping haul, my last grocery shopping haul, hopefully this is gonna be a quicker video because I am actually in a rush. So if I am, if it does seem like I am rushing through this video, it is because I am currently filming this on a Thursday. And those of y'all who follow me on Instagram will know that I have my small group with my church on a Thursday. And I didn't really plan all of this, so I'm trying to just get this filmed for y'all and I hope you enjoy it. Um, while we're talking about that, please thumbs up this video because it's already gonna be a good one. It's gonna be useful for you. Um, and it's gonna be fun, entertaining, all of that good stuff. Um, and subscribe if you haven't joined the family yet. By the way, if you are new to this channel, um, some people call me Tommy Lola, some people call me Oyin. Either way, you are welcome here. So now let's get started. Um, food haul. Now, by the way, the also, also, also the reason I'm filming this is because this is the first time I have had like an Amazon Fresh, a successful Amazon Fresh shopping experience. Um, Yo, those of y'all who saw my first Amazon Fresh video and how that turned into a Morrison's food shopping haul will know why I'm laughing. But then yeah, yo, I finally um, managed to have a successful Amazon Fresh shopping experience. I feel like I am, like, yo, there's a separate video where I do an Amazon Fresh review, but I am struggling to find anything bad to say about the experience so far. So it's like a complete turnaround for me. But yeah, seeing as that happened, I thought I might as well show you all of the things I got. Um... And what my shopping list kind of looks like, um, this is a shopping list for a woman who lives by herself. That's what, all of this food is for one person. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last me, but I am doing the thing I said I wasn't going to do because I'm meant to be in a rush. Whew, woosa, yo, woosa. I'm not going to rush this video. Don't feel rushed. I don't feel rushed. There's enough time to get everything done and that's what's about to happen. Mm. This is coffee, not tea. So y'all, let us get started. Let us jump straight into this because I feel like I've done been talking and we haven't started going through the food. So I've tried to kind of arrange it very prettily. What do y'all think? It's not that pretty. Um, but if we start with this section, we've kind of got quite a few of the fruits and stuff. Now, one thing I realized was, so by the way, all of this, I ended up buying 44 items and it ended up costing me £69.25. So from a price point, it's pretty in line with all the major superstores like Tesco's and Morrison's and all of that stuff um but yeah so yeah I ended up getting some vine tomatoes I bought quite a few from the organic range now for those of you who don't know with Amazon Fresh you end up buying from a selection of different places um so you can like I think they get stocked from different places so like I think like I've got stuff from Whole Foods from more like just stuff um so what did I get from a fruit and veg point of view I got some large tomatoes, um, vine tomatoes. I bought some courgette three packs, which you always need to have in the house. I have an amazing courgette spaghetti recipe. When I'm back to doing cooking videos, and I don't know why I've stopped, but when I do a cooking video, I will show you all this recipe because since I have not actually had normal spaghetti since I made this recipe, but yeah, oh, always need to have courgette because you know, it is a great recipe and it cooks in a few minutes. In addition to that, I have got some spring onions and then I've also got some large spring onions. Look at those. I normally buy these. I just bought these because I just was like, oh, I wonder what large spring onions look like. This is what they look like apparently. I bought these ready to cook rainbow vegetables. Now I believe these were two pounds. So I was honestly expecting like a, like a bag, like, you know, like a whole bag as opposed to this little handful, but yeah. Hopefully they're extra tasty. That's all I'm about to say. Um, no, this love me tender. Has anyone heard of them? I feel like they're like maybe like a... I don't know if they're an organic brand or something. But they've got an Instagram. Has anyone heard of love me tender? I got a few of their stuff. Did I mention that Amazon Fresh shops from different stores? I feel like I did. That sounds familiar. So yeah, basically you end up with stuff from different places. Um... But I think they had a lot of this love me tender stuff. Um, I also got like broccoli. Again, nothing fancy from a veg point of view. 
I got some organic vegetables, well, vegetables, <laughs> some organic carrots as well. Um, so that's the thing, for all the organic stuff I did get, like a good price point, I've got to say, Amazon Fresh. I've got mixed peppers, I don't think these are organic, I think I just got like normal mixed peppers. I got, okay, this is another one size-wise that confuses me. I got butternut squash and I'm used to buying like a massive butternut squash and then this guy and it wasn't expensive I think like it was probably like one quid or something but I was like is this the baby like this is because this is basically the size of my hand and normally I'm like struggling to hold it it's like a baby butternut squash um but yeah I got that as well apples and pears and again I believe okay so this is growers pride which I think I'm, I'm trying to, these are organic. I'm trying to figure out if like, this is like from farm or something. I don't know. But yeah, growers pride, apples and pears. I got some sweet potatoes. We're back to love me tender. Again, I can't remember the price of each individual thing, but nothing was. Like, funny enough, when I was doing the video, so like in the Amazon Fresh review, I think there was a point where I was talking about because I, I normally do my shop at Lidl. So basically, since I'm kind of used to kind of like paying a lower price point, when I had to check out of the Amazon Fresh, I was like, oh, how much? 69 quid. Um, but then now I'm like, actually, yeah, 69 quid for 44 items and a bunch of it organic. I'm probably just, I, I probably, sh that's a good price point. Um, like, and I think even shopping through, nothing was more expensive than I wanna, what I thought it would be. Um, but again, I am sidetracking and we are moving through this video. Like, we got places to be. Yo. Praise Jesus for my personality and all of this energy right now. I also got some closed cup mushrooms. And then I bought a bunch of noodles because I have a simply cook recipe that kind of said either use these noodles or use a straight to work recipe. Um, if y'all don't know simply cook, simply cook is the, they're like a recipe box where you basically, like there's one right here. Basically they send you like the recipes and all of the seasonings. Can I open this? They send your recipe, all of the seasonings, and then you just buy the ingredients and you cook. Um, I have an offer for them, actually. I think it's the first box. Half price. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, sure. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> what was that? You're trying to shake your brain into working. Anyways, I am sidetracked, y'all. No, yeah, we're going places. So I bought these because there was a simple cook recipe that was like, you can use these or you can try it straight to work. And they actually mentioned this brand. So when I saw it, I ended up getting like some fine noodles and udon thick noodles. Recently, I've been eating a lot more, not even eating, cooking a lot more Asian food. So yeah, on that note, I also got these because they're like thick like rice noodles, but then it's called rice stick. I bought it because I'd never tried it before. I also got some of these because the other day I really wanted ramen noodles and I was trying to make the recipe work, but I didn't have all the stuff I needed. And then when I was shopping, I did get stuff for my ramen noodle recipe. But then I also got these because I was like, let's see what it tastes like. And I think that's the one thing I do like about the Amazon Fresh thing. Like I was able to see a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't see and that I was like, oh, actually, I'd like to try that. And just to say, it's not like I'm switching like my normal shop to everyday Amazon Fresh. But I feel like I will be doing things regularly on there for things like this. Um, and things I don't want to carry, if that makes sense. I also got two bottles of water because I'm currently in a situation with my water filter and I just need to get a new one. And the water really, like the water in this flat is really hard. So yeah, I've kind of got this to get me through the next couple of days till I sort out a new water filter, which I'll probably just Amazon Prime. Dang, Amazon, they, I, they get a lot of money from me, y'all. Excuse me, um, I got some tortilla wraps. I thought like these are pretty like I don't know if y'all can see they're the size of my hands I normally get that y'all don't know how big my hands are but they're like normal woman sized hands I normally get like the bigger ones um so oh well these are vegan I didn't even know that I wonder how they'll taste um because I like to do a fake pizza recipe if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen it a few times where I do like a pizza but then instead of like a pizza base I use a rack for a base um, I really, I like, as I'm doing this, I'm like, I need to do like a cooking with the only and update you guys on quite a few of the recipes I do right now. I have got an amazing butternut squash soup recipe. Um, what other recipes do I have? 
I don't know. Oh, I told you all about the courgette, right? Oh, that, yo, the first time I cooked that courgette spaghetti thingy, you know when you cook, like, you cook multiple portions and then you eat all the portions in one go and then you're like, oh, can I lick the pot? Would I, do I want to have a memory of me licking the pot? And then you have to wash the pot quickly to stop yourself from <laughs> licking a pot. Oh, yeah. But yeah, let me know if you want to see that. Um, in the comment section below, be like, give us the courgette spaghetti recipe. Um, okay, y'all, I am not flying through this. Um, also, I have got some beef brisket. And again, you know how I mentioned with Amazon, you, it's kind of like with Amazon Fresh, they kind of pull from different places. This is actually a Whole Foods thingy majiggy. Um, I'm really looking forward to this because recently I've been kind of just wanting really meaty stuff. I might try and do a thigh sweet chili beef thingy majiggy. We'll see. We'll see. Like a thigh sweet chili sauce with beef. I might be using that for this. Though I think I forgot to order the rice vinegar. Like I remember seeing it, but it's not here. And I don't think I actually clicked on add to basket, but that's a different situation. Um, I might see if I can get it somewhere else or I might just order it separately by itself. Um, Chinese five spice. I might even show you all this. I got some Chinese five spice. I got some oyster sauce. Again, these are things I struggle to get in other places. I got some chicken stock. I got some cheese. There's no story to this. It's just cheese. Though, obviously, it is mature. So, I, I'm not sure how mature it is. But you all know I like a four and a five. Like, I like my cheese strong. Um, lemon sip. Um, chilies and scotch bonnets. Because you just always need to have this in the house for any recipe. Um, Yo, this cracks me up. So I got some jasmine rice, and I, if I remember correctly, this rice was like, I don't know how much, but it was a price that made me think, oh, it's at least a one kilo bag. <laughs> look at this baby local rice. I think that's the only thing with shopping online, you just need to be making sure you're checking on the sizes properly, because you will end up with baby bags of jasmine rice. Like, I feel like I have got two Simply Cook recipes that call for jasmine rice. I don't know what the size it was. Um, I'm not going to check it now because we're in a, we're, I keep forgetting. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not in a rush. I'm just, we here, we here. Everyone get comfortable. Make a drink. Um, but yeah, I was saying, I hope this is enough for the recipes I have. If not, I'll just have to buy some more, but that's fine. Um, I bought this. Again, this is me trying something new. Have y'all heard of organic brown noodles now i have been hooked on brown rice recently i have yo wow we need to do like a what i shop for update this is all the white rice i have in the house right now and i've had this for ages like i mainly eat brown rice now the only time i kind of use white rice is if i am making jollof rice or like um or like a nigerian recipe but even for like fried rice i tend to lead with brown rice now but yeah, so with my love of brown rice, I saw this and I was like, I have to try this. It is brown rice noodles. Um, it looks like spaghetti and it's basically organic as well. So that's something new. By the way, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Has anyone actually tried, like heard of brown rice before and tried it before? I got some frozen diced chicken breast because... You just need to have, like, I feel like you always need to have chicken breast in the house. Because when you've run out of all the meats and you've run out of all the chicken, there's one day you'd be like, like, I don't eat without meat. Let me just say that right now. If you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, um, all the respect to you. But I need to have some kind of <laughs> something on my plate. Um, so, yeah, I just like to have this in the freezer in case you run out of everything else. At least you've got something good to go to tide you over. So you get to the shops. I've got some king prawns. I always buy the cooked ones. Um, I think they had like a mixture. I always buy the cooked ones because I don't like the fat with this. But I think this, oh, this was for secret cook recipe. This was for my pad thai recipe, actually. Um, and I feel like, do you know what? I feel like I might do that. That might be the next cooking with onion I do. Um, I might do like a pad thai, simply cook recipe, demo, cook with me situation so yeah i really miss pad thai since i've been working from home there's no more like lunchtime street markets and all of that good stuff oh yeah okay 
I'm going to rush through this now. I know I don't been saying that. And to be fair, I have been rushing because you all know I like to sidetrack and talk. And I only sidetracked like 10 times as opposed to 20 times. Um, like right now, another sidetrack. But back to it. I got some chicken just because drumsticks. And then I also got some chicken wings. You know, sometimes you just want a little munch, a little chicken munch. Um, then what else is there? I bought my usual milk. So usually milk-wise, I tend to go for a non-dairy milk. So either hazelnut or almond milk or... I've kind of not really had oat milk for a while. There was a point where I used to have that a lot, but I haven't had that for a while. Um, and then I bought this, which is not, which is an organic almond drink and it's gluten free and all of that stuff the only reason i bought it was because i was seeing this brand quite a bit um on amazon fresh and i've not actually tried it before so i was like yeah let me try this i bought these which are like go ahead fruit picks so it's like a cereal bar like a breakfast bar and then it's filled with apples and again i've not really had this since i have been in the office so literally start of 2020 i feel like and they used to be like they used to be like part of my morning snack when I wouldn't have a breakfast in like my like in my office drawers and stuff. So when I saw it and I think it was on sale, like it was like it's normally two quid and I think it was like one quid per box. So I was like, yeah, let me buy a couple for the house. So I got those. I got my Greek yogurt Faye, which is ooh. and I don't know why. I feel like <laughs> I used to think Greek yogurt when I was younger. I was like, uh. And then the older I get, the more, like, it's like a decadence treat. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, no, I got 0% fat. Like, the 0% fat one is still nice, but the decadence treat is, like, the full fat one. It's like, oh, it's so rich. And I kind of got into this because this was, there was, a, there was a point where I'm still kind of in that season. I'm always trying to cut down on sugar. And this was my ice cream replacement. Um, and last but not least, Oh no, it's not even last. So it's it's not last. I got some lemon. I like to have lemons because I pour it in everything. I'm the type of person that I'll be like, if I want a fizzy drink, I will have a seven up and then I'll squeeze a lemon into it so it tastes like fresh lemonade. Um and yo, I bought some eggs, some large free-range eggs from Boots. So yeah, y'all, that is that is basically my Amazon Fresh haul. Um oh. I'm gonna put this down so I can talk. So as I was saying, that is my Amazon Fresh haul. What are my thoughts? I'm actually really excited about this. From a price point to point of view, it's pretty similar to all like the major superstores, like the Tesco's, the Sainsbury's, the Morrison's, like all of them ones. Um, I was able to get everything I needed and more actually because it had a wider range. Um, so I would encourage y'all to try it out if y'all wanna try it out. Now, I'm not, like I said earlier on, I'm not gonna switch my whole shop to an Amazon thingy. Um, I am a very big budgeter and in trying to save money and stick within my budget, um, one thing I'm very strict with is my food budget. So shopping at Lidl, especially because that's close to me as well, also helps me do that. But then because I can't get everything, so like, especially like the stuff like the Chinese five spice or like the oyster sauce, I can't get that at Lidl. So like, I feel like having Amazon Fresh as an option to top that up is actually really useful for me because I already have Amazon Prime. I should have said, um, you can only use Amazon Fresh if you have Amazon Prime. So basically the way it works is if you have Amazon Prime, you get access to Amazon Fresh. And then with Amazon Fresh, you have free same day delivery or free next day delivery or free any day delivery um, with Amazon Fresh. Now, I don't think you can just have Amazon Fresh. Excuse me, civil play. Um, you have to have Amazon Prime to use Amazon Fresh. Now, again, I'm a fan of Amazon Prime anyways because I use it for the deliveries. Like the way I order stuff, if I was paying for delivery every time, I would pay for Amazon Prime twice over. I also like the TV and then access to the music stuff for when I can't use spots. Like, let me not go into that um, because, yeah, um, <laughs> what I was trying to say was, I don't even remember what I was trying to say. I guess what I'm basically trying to say is, as far as I know, you have to have Amazon Prime to use Amazon Fresh. If you don't have Amazon Prime, but you would like to try out the service, I do have links for free trials to Amazon Prime. So if you are a student, you can have a six month free trial to Amazon Prime. There'll be a link in the description box. If you're not a student, you can have a one month free trial to Amazon Prime. There'll be a link in the description box. And I think, 
I also mentioned I have a, a Simply Cook offer earlier in this video. Um, it's all a bit of a blur, but then if I did, there will also be a link for the Simply Cook um, half price first. Why do I always say it the wrong way around? A Simply Cook half price first box in the description box as well. Basically, y'all, if y'all want to save money or have free trials, generally check out my description box whenever I can get y'all a free trial. I will put it in there. So that is basically this video. Y'all let me know what you think of my shopping haul. What items do I get that you get? What items do you get that are slightly different? Is there anything new that you think I would like that I should try? Something I've been doing a lot since, I kind of like to, it kind of started at the start of 2020. Um, it's just kind of like, I've been trying to, I am not plant-based. Let, let me lead with that. Hear the accent. I am not plant-based. Um, but I do try and go more plant-based when i can so i'll try or just more closer to, so i'll try and go brown rice or whole wheat or something when i can um so yeah so let me know if there's anything you think i might like that i should try um there was something else i was going to say i cannot remember what i will mention though is if you are not subscribed to this channel please subscribe join the family i think like i am really in the process of trying to be consistent with posts and i really want to kind of just grow this family so please subscribe. Um, there'll be more and more videos. We get vlogs. We have sit down conversations about everything and anything. Also, please share this content with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, with your aunties, with anyone who is a human being who has access to the internet. <laughs> I don't, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it started off normal and it got all desperate begging. So we're just going to say, you know, please subscribe, like, comment, all of that good stuff. Um, I would love to hear what you think. Um, and on that note, I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. May the Spirit of God be with you. Bye, guys. Wait, what? Oh, this is, you're actually taking the mix. This is not, this is not starting off well. Let me show you all the state of my fridge right now. Empty. Oh, ho, ho. I can't even see his car right now. Has he left? Okay, this is very impressive.